I was gonna make a video breaking down every little pro and con about the Season 1 patch, but everyone does that. The general consensus is that the patch is pretty damn bad, some calling it the worst major patch for a AAA game pretty much ever. Other people are comparing it to dog feces. First of all, thank you Blizzard for not delaying Season 1 until a later date, you know, in order to gather additional feedback or actually test your changes. Because of this, I know exactly how I want to spend my free time in the coming weeks and months. Thank you for releasing six brand new unique items, one of which I will never find, and none of which I'd want to find. You've saved me from potentially hours of wasted time sifting through trash to find slightly different colored trash. A very big thank you for creating the Oculus. Because of this item, I know there will be montages of people using this unique and teleporting to their immediate death. Huh. Blizzard really does know how to keep us entertained. Thank you for adding only 7 new aspects to the game, but fixing 136 bugs and creating 0 new reasons to actually play the game. I hope this phase of the beta test has been successful for you. 6600 words and 2,596 of those are to fix bugs. No wonder I can't find anything to do. Thank you Blizzard for adding two more seconds to the time it takes for me to leave a dungeon I have already finished. I can't think of a better way to spend these precious moments of my life. I'm sure this was a hotly debated topic in the boardroom, and your choice to add two seconds to this, and the logic behind that choice, has made me choose to not bother playing at all, saving me many more seconds. Thank you for nerfing power leveling strategies and EXP across the board. If the game was fun to level up in to begin with, people wouldn't have abused it, but now you've given them no choice. This fits with the rest of the game's overall theme perfectly. And thank you for raising the cost of opening a Helltide mystery chest. Opening three chests per Helltide and getting zero interesting loot was often demoralizing, but now it will only happen twice per Helltide. And thank you for nerfing our damage and our survivability, but not increasing the rewards for pushing harder content or higher levels. You want us to do essentially the same content again, slower than before, using our skills less often, with resistances still broken, with more of the same useless loot dropping, to have no reward waiting for us at the end. Wow. Have you even played your own game? Thank you for planning a dumpster fire chat on Friday to attempt to justify your Season 1 changes. Live entertainment isn't cheap these days, and this certainly isn't what I expected when you said the game was a live service. I honestly think it's going to be the most fun I've had with your game for weeks. And lastly, Blizzard, thank you for trying. I know game development isn't easy. I'm ragging on you because I care about the game and its legacy. I've been playing your games for most of my life, and it's just a damn shame to me to see all of your franchises fall from grace. I know you can do better, and I'm sure the game will improve in time, but for now it has no reason at all to hook me in. After my last video claimed Diablo was dying and a bunch of clowns tried to deny it, I think it's safe to say Blizzard justified my opinion, and contrary to what people in my comments said, seasons do not automatically just make a game better. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys in Season 2 maybe. I think giving uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and Remnant 2 a fair shot is the play for now. Thanks for watching. Take care.